Hello, welcome to Ready API, an integrated suite of applications for API testing. Let's see how you can create an automated test of a RESTful web service in this product. First, let's create a test project from the Swagger definition of the Pet Store API. You can copy the definitions URL from the Pet Store's Swagger page. Our test case will include two test steps, that is, two requests to the service. One is a post request that will add a pet to the server and the other is a GET request that will retrieve information on a pet from the server. Let's create a test case from the POST request. In the test case editor that opens, you can configure and run your test case, and the navigator allows you to browse through projects, test suites, test cases, and test steps. Now we will add the second test step to the same test case. Select a request test step to open its editor. Here, you can configure the request and see the response. This request in particular contains a JSON body that describes a pet object that we want to add to the server. The response also contains a JSON body that represents the object that was stored on the server. You can automatically validate responses by creating validation rules or assertions that ensure that the test step only passes if the assertion passes. Let's create an assertion to verify that the response body contains an ID element because we need it for the second test step. There are several ways to add an assertion. For example, you can do it here in the Outline tab. Right-click on the ID element and create an existence assertion. You can see the assertion you have created here. Now we need to pass the ID value to the Get Pet by ID test step. To do this, click here and select the source of the value. In this case, the response of the Add Pet test step. Then select the value that will be passed to the Get Pet by ID request. Now that we have set up our test steps, we can run our test case for regression testing to ensure that the API continues to properly handle requests and respond to them. You can see that the first test step is marked as passed because its assertion has passed. The status of the second test step is unknown because no assertion has been applied to it. Let's see results of the test step execution. The ID value was inserted into the request and the response returned the pet object with that ID. To validate our response automatically, you can create an assertion for it as well. Okay, you have successfully created a simple functional REST test. It consists of only two requests. If you want to quickly create tests for all operations in the definition, use the wizard. You can choose some of these suggested assertions or add your own later. The navigator shows the multiple test cases created automatically. You can enhance your test case by adding a data source, set up authentication, or create a report with information on the test case run. Check out our other videos to learn more about these topics. Thank you for watching.